Welcome back to the program. We are going to be talking about the program. We are going to be talking about the program. We are going to be talking about the program. We are going to be talking we do have the Royal Science Technology Park in uh, Mr. Senzo Malaza, who is the senior communications officer. He's not alone. He's with a partner of the RSTP, the CCG Systems. Her name is Itumelen Kuna. They join me now to further this conversation in Zabin Tepkwepesha. I would say, Benda Anivele, RSTP, Kutunsegisa, Kutsi, Tepkwepesha, Tihamba, Ngelizi, Nomasi Shaktila, Nalamanya Mavela, Satutugile. Mr. Malaza, Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think, Mr. Malaza, what does RSTP doing to ensure that we are in pace with other developed global economies at Nzabentayo, e science and technology? Well, uh, I'll start on the technology space. We are doing quite a number of things, including on the education space, which is why we have the advanced school of IT where we're offering specialization courses uh, in ICT. Uh, these being cyber security and network forensics, information security and ethical hacking, uh, hardware and networking, software engineering and, and multimedia. So that is one way of uh, making sure that we train Emaswati to have the requisite skills to try and improve the ICT space. Okay. And then we are also in, in the cloud computing space through our national uh, data center, where we're saying to companies they can concentrate on their core business and we handle their ICT space, including hosting their data, uh, which we believe will actually provide more security to them okay. uh, in as far as um, hacking is concerned, because our, um, our strength is in security as well uh, and providing um, uninterrupted um, internet uh, right, right. Uh, 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 connectivity to them. So we, we do believe we are, we are playing a big role in that space. Yeah. Uh, Let's get into the School of ICT. School of ICT is a school of ICT. Yeah. Primary school, good and secondary education, there's high school, and then there's post secondary national tertiary institutions, institutions yeah. of higher learning. And I've been in a tip in Tlangotl and Hamba, in Sogap in Hamba, figure. Well, it's, in a, it's, a, it's a good tertiary space. We are okay. a tertiary institution, which is why we also admit, um, or rather our minimum entry requirement is Form 5. And then having done your Form 5, we expect you to have at least four credits. And that should include maths and any science subject. That is our, uh, our minimum entry requirement. Yeah. Yeah. And we believe that is also the minimum entry requirement for anyone wanting to go into the space, particularly into the IT space. I've also heard that you have incubator programs. Yes. Lama incubator programs, eh, no sentale banfana, laba nyendi, laba kubema biznisi, la ngasho kusa tindale tindlango, tindabo science, na bo, bo technology. I think, nang sahamba, exceeding babo lileje, laba nye laba tsengsago lapa, laba shilo kuti bangu mbana wenu. But, nyefuna singene kangane la itumele ngutaze, amanga lana ya gusa, waka tibile ngtongu gela senzo na skise. Itumele CCG Systems, tell us about CCG Systems as a partner, eh, wayo, ERSTP. Thank you so much for that question. So I think from our side, we will take it back to saying who is CCG yeah. and then why RSTP. So CCG is an ERP house. Okay. So we've been around for the past 20 years. Wow. That is implementing ERP systems. And then obviously taking into account that we've got different verticals of which you find that the vanilla solutions can't cater for those different verticals. So we then have a development leg where we develop uh, systems with an open AI and can actually integrate to any other ERP system for as long as it has got the APIs on okay. it. And then over and above that, we also have artificial intelligence. Um, I think if you come to our stand, you will see there are robots that we've actually brought yes. there. And then we have Internet of Things. Yeah. We also do coding. So that is the core of what we do. For IR. Yes. Yes, that. we are aligned at that level, yeah. you know. So uh, the collaboration with the RSTP, obviously we have seen the vision that RSTP has as far as um, technology yeah. and digitalization is concerned. So we have then, um, you know, forged that partnership with yeah. them in terms of 
uh, helping Eve in terms of um, getting to that vision of yeah. the king in terms of the 4IR. What's the market looking like in Eswatini? Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at, we do have people that are still primitive, that are still very slow in the uptake here at Donet Involeti Tabo 4IR, Ukuman Zabatema Robotics. Eswati, Siyabolo, Siyafuna Loguti, Sipayana Lamanyema, Vengabe Nasbukale uptake here at Donet Involeti, Igan Jabbez. In all honesty, I feel, Oguti, based on what I've seen to date, the country is actually ready for that technology. Yeah. So the traction that we are getting for that technology, it's out of this world. No, and I the, the, yeah, no, everyone is ready for the technology. The, the trade fair now is a great platform to, yes. to even market that exactly. further. Mr. Yes, Malaza, I, I want us to speak briefly on the incubator program. How's uh, the Banjani? What's the selection criteria, and how far would that development be? Well, see, see how's uh, any innovative business idea? Innovation to us, we 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 see see kazang elde la Anything totally new or an improvement on something that has been there. Right, right. And for us, innovation is across all uh, economic sectors. It could be in food and agriculture. It could be biotechnology, it could be uh, ICT, yeah. anything. So that is why we have a wide variety of uh, startups that we're incubating. Some are in the ICT space, some are in biotechnology, and we do have some that are in recycling and, and environmental issues. So we, we house them and amongst the benefits that they have for being with us is co-working space, coaching, um, and uh, capacity building in general. Do we have a fund that we can then support them with? Okay. No, we don't. But we, do, we believe that through partnerships and, and collaboration with other institutions, right. we help them raise their funds for their businesses. And we believe that through partnerships with companies like CCJ Systems, we help them uh, better their skills as well. Because uh, as we are, were talking about those that are in the IT space, if we link them with CCJ Systems, not only are they going to be a, a, a partner to us, but they're also going to be a partner and maybe a, a mentor to some of those uh, startups that we have. So, which is why as RSTP, we are taking this route of looking at collaborations both locally and outside of our borders mm. to find a way through which we also can grow but also help our incubated startups to grow. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, CCG Systems and RSTP, have a dilemma, let me not say a dilemma, let me say my threat, let confront a lot of Emma institutions, Lafana Nani, in Zabaye Cyber Security. You did speak on it briefly, Mr. Malaza. How do you ensure that the people are safe and safe? Mm -hmm. uh, safe, well, and I will call it from a company perspective. Uh, safe, you you be sure that on, on a daily basis, we we monitor and repeal quite a number of attacks, our attempts to, to, to hack into our systems. Okay. But we, as a country, we believe that we are, we are taking some strides towards being safe. Look, for a good team, we have institutions like ourselves that are trying to do something, but also we have institutions like your Eswatini Communications Commission that are also trying to do something in raising awareness. And we believe that as we go out to raise awareness to Maswati on how best can we handle ourselves on the cyberspace, mm. we are trying to raise the bar in, in as far as being safe is concerned. And we are also going to the schools um, through different programs, one of which is the Africa Code Week that yeah. we have as RSTP, where we're training uh, Emaswati from as young as primary school oh, great, to, great. to be on the know-how in as far as ICT is concerned. So we believe that is going to help us be uh, more safe as a country and we believe that working with uh, even the, our security forces, sometimes we do have capacity building sessions for them to make sure that not only are we safe but we can also solve those crimes that are coming through the cyberspace. Okay. CCG Systems, Robotics, artificial intelligence, 
in a threat to a good see it out of time with seven day band human intelligence it over at zero say salai cars of seven da la maropo just briefly um i think uh we actually get that a lot and that is actually not true because um with eai it actually uh, helps in terms of reduce, uh, improving efficiency okay. and um, you know flexibility as well, and then then people have, can have time you know right. to focus on other important things because you're not specifically it caters for those gaps that are there. Egoguti they actually take time. For example, if you get to a bank, for example, you'll find out that there's that long queue. Some others, they end up leaving the branch without getting the assistance they need simply because of that long queue. But with the AI being there, then it reduces, you know, that queue in terms of you can then interact with an AI agent, you know, and then you don't have to necessarily then get to um, the consultant to help you. Whatever that you need, yeah. right in your finger trip, and then after that you can go home. Okay. So it actually improves e-productivity and e-efficiency. It doesn't replace humans. So I think that is the narrative across ego booty people have. Immediately they think AI, yeah. but that is actually not true. from CCG Systems. We also did have uh, Mr. Senzo Malaza from the Real Science and Technology Park. But artificial intelligence.